So, uh, yeah, it's Lee and I here. We're still cruising around the crop production show here in Saskatoon. We're in the new Massey. It's the, uh, what does that say on the side? It's an 8 series frame, 8S, 265. So I'm assuming it's an 8 series frame, 265 horsepower. That's what I assume. And you know what assuming can do. But anyway, this is the new interior. Um, we got our corner posts. Probably has our fuel, all that fun stuff. I have no idea what this is. Must have something to do with GPS, I hope. And this is probably the system of the tractor we've got looks like we got through uh, it says five here actually but maybe oh, oh yeah two on the handle this is your handle kind of funky but it's got some buttons on the back a trigger on the back yeah, it's not bad like what's this for it's like this, this is hydraulics yeah so could this be used for your loader yeah, or can you put a loader on an 8 series frame? I don't know. Like, there's a smaller one right there with a loader on it. There's the ideal combine that we're going to run over and take a look at because we've been looking at combines today. But how do I? So, lights and stuff. It's definitely like, like you say, Lee, it's narrow right here. It's yeah. it's kind of funky almost. It is, but it's also visibility wise. What do you... Yeah, like visibility, you can see pretty good, like right yeah. down here. But for sure, like it seems like it's a long way out. I don't know. Just typically, typically, most tractors are widest here and get narrower. Oh, I guess it all varies. Everyone has a little different. So, I'm assuming this is. What are we? What kind of op? What kind of? Is this CVT? Can't uh, be. Yes. Is it? Yeah. Could you go forward? Uh, okay, um, maybe it is. Or a Dyna 6 version, never a Dyna 6 version. Never seen or heard of this tractor in my entire life. But it's got speakers. What about? Cup, Just two though. Cup holders? Cup holders? Well, that's a fail. Oh. Really? Oh. oh, over here? That's not very good. It should be. Huh. I like the stitching. Here, I'll zoom in. I do like the stitching here. That's kind of nice. I don't like that it has a single cup holder way up here though. Don't like that. There's one here, but I, would, I don't rate that. I that's really on don't. an angle. Yeah. So that's not even a cup holder. Yeah. If your cup holder's on an angle like this, that's not even a cup holder. What's under here? Anything? Uh, Fuse panel? Oh no. Knock out a window if you need to, right? <laughs> I'm assuming you can get heated back windows on this. Oh, is this laminated? Is it? No. That's not laminated. You can tell? Yeah, I can tell. Can I, can I ask you why? You go by the sound. I'm pretty sure it's not. Oh, so you had a bad experience? I have laminated. had a bad experience. And I'm pretty sure that 724 Gen 6, like what I have, is not. Because mine isn't. That 1167 over there, like mine, is not. And why would this one be any different? But it's the combine, though? The combine. Combines are. Yeah. But the tractors aren't. So if you take a rock, it's a safety glass. It's going to go poofy. And I've had it happen before. Yeah, that's a sad day. It's very sad. And this? Yeah, it's not. Of course it wouldn't be. I'm assuming you can get heated, I assume. Oh. That's kind of loud. Yeah. Uh, I don't like that you have to go over here. Oh, that's very aggressively. My, uh, Did I hit you with something? Some flying uh, debris or shrapnel, perhaps? Just the noise in my ears. Oh. We got one up here, too. You know, this is good. Like it's a full. Like it's it's not like it's not like a mesh where the sun can still get you. I like that it's full, but I don't like that I can't push it back up. I don't like this. Like, allow me. I got it, guys. 1970s. And it goes up way too quick. Like maybe I just wanted to go a little bit. You know, maybe I just want. Yeah, that's not irritating in the. <laughs> um, like this one. No. Oh, I thought they did it right on that one. Oh, Ooh. oh okay. All right. Uh, so that's the new mass, you guys. Look at the exhaust. Did they hit something or backed into it? Look at that. It's an angle. Well, I think it's because the cab post is angled and you can't see it. So they hit it. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I'll give them that. They, did, like, they did hide it. It's not even it looks a little funky when you're looking at it here. Yeah. It looks a lot funky, I'm actually. Judging, but, but Well, we are judging. Do we have a fridge? Of course we don't. Yeah. That's cup nice. holder though for a... Oh, and, and if you want to throw your coffee down here, definitely yeah, can yeah, do it. Like, just in case. 
and then it's just really quick, you know. You just yeah. Yeah. instant. Oh, but that doesn't stay up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> health and safety. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's not very good. Uh, finish, finish is lacking, I would say. So, yeah. I'm lie. It's always some quality issues here. I'll shove that back in it. Well, oh, you okay. didn't see that. Okay. Guys, you didn't see that. Okay. Give them, give them, it's brand new just out, okay? Okay. Fresh out the box. Fresh out, they got an integrated toolbox. Yep. Integrated toolbox oh. right there. Check yes, that out, Lee. Yeah, it's in integrated. I can barely fit a sandwich it's in there. It's got a block heater cord and some stuff like that, yeah. So yeah, this is the new Massey, you guys. It's pretty snapping, eh? Okay, beautiful. We got our PTO. This doesn't lift up, Lee. What? And where's our little uh, cookie? Where's our little candy? Oh, what's that? What was this? Uh? What's this? Ah, uh, oh. No, oh, did I break something? That's not supposed to be. Oh, so you put I, you put a candy you put a reason. candy down there. You ain't getting that back. I'm not touching <laughs> yeah, stop touching stuff. Let's go take a look at the combine. We've irritated our uh, people watching here enough. Looks pretty good though. Like exterior wise, Lee. Exterior wise, it looks it looks pretty good. Nice shop tractor. I like the lights up at the top. All LED, nice and square. Those are definitely the Fent mirrors. I don't. I don't like these little tires. It's more of a row crap tractor. Those mirrors are the wrong side. What do you mean? So look at those lines. Then look at your seven two four over there. Aren't they? Oh yeah. Three point hitch. That's a quick hitch, isn't it? So you've got three point. Yeah. Back up quick. To with quick hitch. How many hydraulics do we got here? Five. That's pretty good. No hydraulic top like the fence like do. And then you got the Rogator sprayer. Crab steer. Not a fan of these fenders. Wow, those are close. Please tell me that those air up when this thing does. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. But it's still too low. You get stuck, you're going to peel this right off. You need to stop about here. And then probably just hang like a mud flap or something. For stuck reasons. Definitely I'm not a fan of grease slide. Reminds me of the old 8600 Eagle. I had a Wilmar 8600 Eagle. That was grease slide. This is more Rogator style, but uh, not a fan of grease slide. That just collects dirt and dust and it gets sticky and. Wears down the metal as well. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I'm surprised they went with that system, to be honest with you. I, I Guys, I do apologize. You can see the glare out of my cell phone still. It still haven't got my new one. They actually canceled my order and I have to reorder. Now I'm thinking I might just wait for the new 23 in February, but. Airbags, I have not ran this machine. The boom looks super light. Like it's a super light looking boom. It is a concern. What, Lee? Oh, he's on his phone. All right, let's go take a look at this combine. Okay, so here's the Ideal 9. They have definitely changed a few things. I can tell you they changed this right now. Yeah. Um, so ours were 2019, 20, 21. It was the last model year that we ran. Now these are tires. They're 710 duels. And uh, yeah, they're Midas. You can still get Midas. That's the same as the claws and that new Holland that we just looked at. They're Midas um, tires. Are... Yeah, there's 42, yeah. 710 42 BS. These are tires. Now, okay, so they've changed this system a little bit. Pretty sure ours didn't have this. We had a lip like this, but it wasn't latched. Oh, I remember your struggles. <laughs> Hold okay, on here. I might have bent it here. Yeah, this is... Here, can you just hold yeah, the camera yeah, for a second? Yeah. I don't like this already. This, is, yeah. this just bends Oh my this. god. Stop. You've got too much muscle, okay? Just no, stop. That's, I don't like that. Yeah. So you reef it hard. You just bent it up like this. Bend it back down. Don't like that. It's, no. It was better before. So they did this because they were leaking in here before. Yeah, I remember that when you are Old videos about them. You got your rethrasher here. This thing, this thing plugged quite a bit. Oh, that's horrible. But not as bad as it plugging back here, though. Oh yeah. Gotta turn the light on here. Oh yeah. There's the shark fin. Yeah, we had the shark fin. Oh yeah. So they didn't originally come out with these shark fins. They didn't come out like that. This they changed this back up a little bit. 
I don't know if they had this in the right spot yet because you would always plug up your back end long before the sensor would ever go. Yeah. And then again, see these are steel, they just bend right over. And these actually wear out. These are like these actually wear out. And then if you if you uh, take a rock in or bend them bad enough, you actually bend the bracket, push the bracket down. It's just not built heavy enough. Do a super good job threshing though. Uh, when you can keep them running. Ask me why I don't like them. <laughs> and then uh, yes, we actually uh, bent our hitch. This isn't a hitch. This is this is about one step greater or one step back from the closet. I put them in the same category. Hey, that's fine. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, really poor hitch. Um, I've actually bent mine. Um, Used to break the shear bolt. I do like that it has air all over the place. Um, yeah, this is our Canadian Tire ladder. So, again, plastic fuel tank. So, how our combine burnt down, uh, we actually burnt an ideal down. If you want to see the video, there's a video, live video of that getting burnt down. I'll throw the link in. Um, it was gearboxes. These gearboxes, here's your uh, one rotor gearbox, other rotor gearbox. And I can see that this hasn't been updated. Nope. Because there's no there's no sight there's no breather there's no breather nope, lines. Because there's breather on the left and on the right, wasn't there? So what happens is this fills up with chaff in here, and uh, this will fill up with chaff. And of course you got to have these things have to breathe. Your gearbox have to breathe, and it plugged it off, and uh, it blew the popped the bearing out because you know it's getting it's got to breathe, and it dumped all the oil onto chaff because this builds up with chaff under here. This is all underneath. I'm talking. This isn't right here. This is inside where the gearboxes are and then uh, the rest is history because that plastic fuel tank is right underneath here and you're not going to run a gearbox a rotor gearbox very long without oil in it and the rest is history so ptsd <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the man engine I assume this is probably the same engine that's in the claws. Uh, everything, yeah. Really like the engine. Really like the engine. And don't get me wrong, like these combines did a really good job when they were running, but they were just very prone to breakdowns. Oh, but that's new. That's new. Oh, that was never a thing. No. Oh, and no, wow. tilting, tilting. It was if tilting. you hit something. It was if you hit something, but we never did hit anything. No. But that's new. I like that. That's, All the uh, cool kids are doing it. Yeah, six. John Deere. Seconds. John Deere created it, right? As a John Deere thing, yeah. long before CNH yeah. ever came out with it. Yeah, so exactly. since John Deere did it with the X9, now everyone's doing it. But the fast unload time, <laughs> I'll give them that. Six foot <laughs> a second unloading. Oh it? yeah, this unload speed you can't beat it. Like this was like six point two or six bushel yep. per second, something like that. And you had four different settings in your cab. You go. <laughs> so maybe you didn't want to run a full full uh, full jam topping off your grain cart. Let's go hop in the cab real quick. Reversible fan too. But this would get caked up with stuff in here and even the reversible fan had a lot of trouble trying to pull this stuff off. And uh, under there wasn't there was shear bolts we had to get to. Oh yeah, we can't even, we won't even go into half nope. the problem. We're not going into shear bolts and nope. stuff. I'll just uh, Yeah, you just be quiet about that. I'll just be quiet. Right now. Yeah, let's let's be quiet. <laughs> oh yeah, so here's when you wanted to change the concaves. There's four. The nice thing about these is they were uh, fairly light. They're lightly built, but they are light. Um, they put bigger bolts in. This was an upgrade. They originally came with smaller ones, and then when you wanted to tighten them up, because these things do weigh a little bit, when you push them up there, you'd strip these bolts out. But they put bigger ones in now. And this belt, so this belt was always a problem. Oh, yeah. It would, it would kick, it would kick, and then you would start breaking stuff off, break the idlers off. Yeah, on the feeder house, this is the same as the claws. They go with the, these steel slats. X9's going with steel slats. I hate steel slats. They bend super easy on the S-Series John Deere's are cast. And now a lot of people are like, oh man, but cast, when you break it, it destroys the guts of the combine. I've never broken a punk of cast. All the, all the lentils and chickpeas that we've chewed through, never broke it. But bent these steel ones, like, going out of style. Trying to get that rock trap door to open. 
This pulley would always leave us. This pulley always left us. This we have to replace this shaft. And then I don't know if they changed the tilting pressure on these, but we could never tilt with our headers. And it wasn't because our header was too big. It's because the poly pad, they put a poly pad in back here and they just didn't have enough pressure. Because once that gets some dirt on it, if you're in oil seeds, of course oil slippery, no problem. Cereals, not bad. Pulses, you're never gonna get this thing to move. Never. You get three people to jump on the back to try to help you calibrate it. Oh yeah, and we always were losing dust caps all the time. Always were losing our dust caps. Put new ones on, we lose them. Put new ones on, we lose them. So this is an ideal nine. So this is exactly what we had. This is actually a model year 21 we just checked. Um, so it's not the newest of the new, but... Oh, this brings back memories. Cup holder, cup holder, cup holder. You never used that one, but uh, you could use these two. This thing will swivel around. These here are magnets. It's not there. Yeah. You can get these magnetic. Oh, it's right here. Oh. You can stick it up there. Uh, pull it down. Oh, oh. So adjust, that was kind of handy. Adjust. You just stick it wherever you want it. You know, sun's over there. So that was kind of handy. But no tab needed to hold it. No tab needed to hold it. Dang it. Just like this. Yeah. You know. So that's nice. Um. Obviously, I never did like the plastic. It's kind of a cheap plastic they put on here, and these buttons were never really lit up. They just had a light ring around it, which actually kind of blinded you a little bit because it was just this light ring. If you guys want to see the ideal videos, I've done a ton of them because we used to run them. Uh, so you just got to scroll back and find them. Yes, I know we did burn one down as well. We try to forget about that, but... Otherwise... Same old, same old? Same old, same old. 485 bushel hopper. I can remember that. Yeah. Uh, here's your uh, here's your unload speed button. It would actually come up on your monitor, and if you wanted to go full bar, full ramming speed, you just hit the plus button. If you uh, wanted to back it down a little bit, back it down a little bit, back it down a little bit. Uh, once you went down to one, it was just about running empty. So, and it closed off these gates, kind of like in there, like a grain cart. Okay. So that was kind of nice. You could have tough. 20% wheat in there for whatever reason, if you were combined 20% wheat, you could. And you could still pretty much clean out your auger. Not fully, not fully, but you could do a pretty good job. They were good at that. So anyways, that's it. Let's go and find uh, the X9. See if there's still a big crowd of people over there or all that fun stuff. I'll catch you guys later. Adios, amigos.